of the day. This is Miss Fabuso. Today I am here to talk about the landlady by Roald Dahl. So let's read the story of Billy Weaver who decides to stay in an unfamiliar bed and breakfast with a mysterious host. Here it goes. Introduction to the author. Roald Dahl was a British novelist, short story writer, poet and screenwriter. He is one of the best children's writers in the world. His best loved children's stories of the 20th century are Matilda, The Witches, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, The BFG, Fantastic Mr. James and the Giant Peach and the Twits. Some of his works have also been made into films with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and the BFG being very popular with children worldwide. Now, here goes the justification of the title of The Landlady by Roald Dahl. The Landlady is a short horror story by Roald Dahl. The landlady appears to be a good soul, kind-hearted, caring, generous and most importantly benign. But she isn't exactly all she has shown herself to be. Here a wicked lady manipulates Billy Weaver who is just 17 years old. Through this generational conflict, Dahl depicts the cruelty of the adult world, highlighting the tragic inevitability of growing up and the loss of innocence that this transition requires. Now, let's see the main characters of this story. The very first one is the land lady. She is 45 to 50 years old with a round and cheerful face and the host of bed and breakfast. Next we have Billy Weaver. Billy Weaver is 17 years old and is a guest to the land lady. Now we have a very minor character that is the porter to whom Billy Weaver asked if there was a hotel nearby and the porter answered him to go to the Bell and Dragon. Now we have Christopher Mulholland who was 17 years old and a Cambridge undergraduate. He was killed by the landlady and then stuffed by her. Another character is Gregory W. Temple and she was 28 years old and was also stuffed by the landlady after she killed him. Now, let's move on to the story. By the time Billy Weaver got to bath, it was about 9 o'clock in the evening and the moon was coming up out of a clear starry sky. The air was deadly cold and the wind was like a flat blade of ice on his cheeks. It was about 9 o'clock in the evening when Billy Weaver reached Bath, that is a city in southwestern England. Then the air was extremely cold. Here it means that the weather was terribly harsh. Here the wind is compared to a flat blade of ice. This creates an image of violence, a sharp blade to cut his cheeks. It creates an ominous tone very early in the story. The writer Roald Dahl uses figurative language to describe the setting of the story. Excuse me, he said, is there a hotel not too far away from here? 
as billy was in an unfamiliar town and it was very dark he needed a shelter from the icy wind and thus he asked the porter if there was a hotel nearby try the bell and dragon the porter answered pointing down the road pointing towards the road the porter replied to him to try for the bell and dragon billy picked up his suitcase and set out to walk briskly down the street as you know that the setting puts billy in a position to choose the quickest form of shelter and thus billy took up his suitcase and started to walk quickly down the streets there was a line of tall identical houses on each side even in the darkness he could see that the paint was peeling from the woodwork on their doors and windows and that the handsome white facades were cracked and blotchy from neglect while walking down the street billy noticed that all the houses looked alike although it was dark he could see that the front of the building were cracked and uneven due to lack of care and negligence the houses were dilapidated shabby and ramshackled suddenly billy caught sight of a printed notice propped up against the glass it said bed and breakfast he moved a bit closer green curtains hung on either side of the window the yellow chrysanthemums looked wonderful beside them he peered through the glass into the room and saw a bright fire burning in the hearth on the carpet in front of the fire a pretty little dachshund was curled up asleep with its nose tucked into its belly the room itself was filled with pleasant furniture there was a baby grand piano a big sofa and several plump armchairs and in one corner he spotted a large parrot in a cage suddenly it seemed a comfortable place to him as billy was walking down the street he saw a printed notice raised up against the glass of one of the houses and it said bed and breakfast here the writer paints a beautiful picture of the bed and breakfast so he moved a bit closer and then he noticed green curtains hung on either side of the window and there were yellow chrysanthemum flowers placed beside them he peeped through the glass into the room and saw a bright fire burning in the fireplace a dog lay curled up in front of the fireplace the room looked very nice with beautiful furniture and in the room there was a baby piano a big sofa and several armchairs and he also noticed a large parrot in a cage and after seeing all this he felt that this was the place that he had been looking for as it seemed pretty comfortable now let's see the word meanings Bath is a city in southwestern England. Second, deadly means extremely. Third, porter, a person who carries people's luggage at a railway station, airport or hotel. Fourth, briskly means quickly. Fifth, facades, the front of buildings. Sixth, blotchy means patchy or uneven. Seventh, neglect means lack of care. Eighth, caught sight of means noticed or saw. Ninth, propped means supported to keep in position. Tenth, 
chrysanthemums a kind of garden flowers 11th hearth the floor of a fireplace 12th dachshund a small dog with a long body and very short legs 13th baby grand piano the smallest size of a grand or large piano supported by three legs that's all for the day i hope you understood the lesson well we will be continuing the remaining part of this chapter in my next lecture thank you have a great day ahead